stream you are better but you know here we go <clears throat> what's up what's up facebook it's troy mcknight coming at you with another facebook live i'm actually here with my friend jerry uh west we actually uh gonna just share a little ideas little strategies little things with you guys jerry gonna share his story and if this is your first time actually tuning into one of my facebook lives guys i come over here monday through friday and sometimes i bring some of my friends on because i want my friends to share their story their experiences with network marketing i actually been in this industry for 17 years playing this game but not only that man i want everybody to win so if you in network marketing and you want to win you need to hear jerry's story if you in network if you're thinking about starting a home business and you want to partner up with an awesome person you need to actually follow jerry so jerry tell them a little bit about yourself you know before network marketing you know how did you get involved in the industry what was your career uh before you got involved in the industry well i sat in a cubicle for about a decade of my life selling advertising <laughs> before i got into network marketing and just by virtue of talking to a lot of different business owners i started to think about ways to own my own business but i didn't have the capital to start a traditional type of business so um network marketing really appealed to me the first time it was introduced to me which was by a gentleman that just walked into a networking group one day and started talking about people earning these crazy checks and excitement and residual income. And I was thinking to myself, the heck is this guy talking about? You know, <laughs> I had no idea. And so I ended up meeting with this guy and he showed me a presentation. And I think it was, uh, I think it was a week later that I actually got started in my first network marketing business. That was back in 2012. And uh, that's, that's basically where my journey began from there. Well, man, you was a quick decision maker. But Jerry, my question is, you said you was at a networking event and you wasn't looking for anything, huh? You just, God just walked up to you and started talking about crazy amount of money and stuff, right? I was uh, I was looking to sell newspaper advertising because I worked for the community newspaper at the time. So it was a chamber networking event. I was looking to just meet business owners and, and set appointments to sell advertising. And uh, but this whatever this guy had to say really spoke to me and when he showed me the presentation, I, I totally saw it. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know if I could do it or how to do it, but I, I knew that I saw a way for me to get what I wanted. And so I just decided to go for it anyways. So just think about that, guys. As you heard Jerry's story, the first part of it, he was at a networking event trying to sell a newspaper advertising. Wasn't looking for opportunity. <laughs> at all some guy <laughs> walked up to him got to tell him about a business opportunity three weeks later he got involved in an opportunity that's powerful within itself and the reason why i said that jerry because so many people go through you know this industry saying man i don't have nobody to talk to um and there's people every freaking word it's jerry's everywhere well just imagine if that would have been you whoever looking at this would have been in a networking event and start talking to jerry and jerry would have got in your business and exploded it so the whole just of that story for me is it's people everywhere looking for opportunity. Like Jerry didn't know nothing about network marketing before this gentleman approached him. So when you got in your first business, Jerry, how did you do in that business? I sponsored, I think, seven people over the course of a year and a half. <laughs> and none of them, none of them did anything. I got a few customers, um, but I kind of made the mistake of thinking, okay, every time I bring somebody in, this person's going to blow it up for me. And I, I just couldn't, it, it was really frustrating because I couldn't understand why People would join a business and then not not go out there and try to do anything with it. So it it was uh, it was a learning experience. I think that has helped me a lot with teaching people how to do things the right way today. Because of going through that, I know what other people are going through because I've been there. Yeah, absolutely. So Jerry, how long did you stay in that company? Are you still with that company, or you decided to do something different? No, I, I mean, I was with that company probably on and off for a total of two years. And I say on and off because I wasn't consistent enough back then with building it. I would have a, a flurry of activity for a couple of weeks and then I would stop. And then I would have another flurry of activity for a couple of weeks and then I would stop. So I never really, I never really took it seriously enough or did it consistently enough back in that time. Uh, and then you know, after a couple of years, I bumped into somebody else and I decided to start something new. And, and I've been through, you know, I've been through a few different companies uh, in my in my career. But over the last um, over the last almost uh, four and a half years, I've only been with two different companies. 
Yeah, and I know that one company you was with, you rocked it out. I mean, you built a team, you was having success with it, things changed, and you went somewhere different. You know, the thing about it, Jerry, you know, when we all get involved, sometimes we don't be consistent. You know, I remember getting in the industry and I had a lot of success real fast. I was kind of like ignorance on fire. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Thought I was going to jail because of the checks, right? And then I got into my second company and it was a wake up call that I really had to learn the skills. I really had to learn how to build a business. But that hurt me too, just being consistent, just being consistent, doing it day in and day out. Cause it's the same steps. All we do is reach out to people, share the information, get some no no's, reach out to people, share some information, get some yeses, keep going right but that, that kills a lot of people just being consistent so tell me a little bit about you know uh what you got going on now jerry you know without mentioning the company name i know you're actually building a team uh but before we get in this guys i started following jerry on facebook about a year ago and what attracted me to him was man his stories his content he was putting on facebook I could tell he was genuine. I remember when he posted that he was getting ready to start another company. And I saw you, Jerry. I saw you putting things where, you know, people were congratulating you. You was actually moving pretty fast, assembling, uh, assembling a team. So share a little bit about what you got going on now, Jerry. Maybe it can help inspire somebody. Or maybe if you're looking for some, a team to join, hey, maybe you want to DM Jerry. Well, five and a half months ago, uh, which was the end of October of last year, I started fresh. Uh, you know, I, I joined a new company and uh, the team's been absolutely taken off. So it's been a lot of excitement and, and, and a lot of um, people having success, which is great. What I'll do, though, is I'll go back even further. What I want people to know is this, because there's a lot of people out there that they may not be getting the success that, uh, that they want fast enough. Right. And it's frustrating. And you know how this industry could be. It's not immediate gratification. Is it, Troy? <laughs> absolutely no, not. It's not. So. <laughs> Back in uh, back in 2013 to 15, I actually had uh, I, I had purchased a direct mail franchise that crashed and burned. Like I ended up in bankruptcy. I was uh, more than quarter mil quarter million dollars in the hole. Um, and in 2016, I was just struggling. I had a network marketing business that wasn't doing anything. I went through five jobs that year. And at the end of 2016, I was ready to just walk away from network marketing altogether. Because what I was trying to do was get these crappy little jobs just to pay my bills that I didn't care about so I could build up my network marketing business. And I said, you know what? I just need to go back to corporate and get a corporate job and, and pay my family's bills, right? Yeah. So beginning of 2017 comes, I'm ready to walk away from the industry. Uh, a friend of mine is starting a local business, reaches out to me and offers me a job. So I took that job, which was that I really needed to pay the bills. And then I said to myself, you know what? You didn't you didn't go through everything that you've gone through from 2012 until now five years worth of ups and downs and struggles and and learning just to walk away from something right you you've seen right. regular people do this you know you can do it so i decided to start a new network marketing business in march of 2017 right when I was ready to walk away. And you know how they say your biggest breakthrough is always right after your biggest like breakdown, yep. right, right when you're ready to quit and walk away? Well, it's so true because within one year, I had hit one of the top ranks in that company. I was able to walk away from that job. And ever since then, uh, ever since the end of February of 2018, one year after I started that, I've been full-time working for myself from home um, you know, earning good money over six figures, more money than I ever earned in any job I ever had. So it just goes to show if you're out there right now and, and you're going through that ups and downs and, and struggles and frustrations that a network marketing business can bring, you just have to keep it. Don't wish it was easier. I know these are cliche quotes, but they're so true. And, and I didn't believe half of them until I really broke through and had success. Don't wish it was easier. Just wish you were better. You know, just work on yourself every single day and keep improving every single day work on that consistency work on doing the you know the monotonous the simple system that we all have i mean it's just like you said it's like you know you invite somebody you show them information you let them decide you invite somebody else you show them information you let them decide who is the only person that could stop us from meeting somebody new like we're the only ones that could stop us from connecting with new people on facebook or doing what that first guy that sponsored me did, you know, going out to a networking group and meeting new people or whatever you got to do to meet new people because you never know 
when you're going to meet that person who is like Troy or like myself, who's going to have that big breakthrough and, and really change things for you. Wow, that's powerful, Jerry. You didn't share that story with me. And we all been there, guys, because I don't even think I shared your story, you know, my complete story. You know, I got in the business. Uh, first company did very well. Second company did okay, but it was a wake-up call, right? Third company, you know, I got into it really to learn under someone. And then after that third company, I was at the same point, Jerry. I actually got my CDL, uh, my commercial license in my pocket. I was going to buy a couple of trucks and, you know, just do something completely different. I was ready to walk away from the freaking industry, right? And yeah. I had made money in the industry, but I was still ready to walk away from it because of the struggles, the challenges, the adversity. And, you know, it, and, and it's, you got to work really hard on yourself to attract the right people in your life, like a Jerry. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one of my friends that I met, you know, at that point, I had been on like 12, 13 years, called me up and said he was getting ready to start his own company he wanted me to come and sit down with him and i always tell people just like you jerry you was looking to go in a different direction and walk away from the industry right and i always crack a joke every time i tried to walk away god pulled me right back you know what i'm saying every time so for me and i know even for yourself this is where we're supposed to be to me this is the best game in the world jerry i mean this is where we get to sow into other people's lives i mean me and you you know we examples you know i mean we didn't you know just get in the business and explode it right off the back you know, and just made tons of money. The first company I did okay, but it went out of business. Second company, I struggled for, you know, a couple of years before me and Lisa got it up, right? And then the third company, we did okay, but we didn't do that well. Now I'm over here in this company, we crushing it. Same thing with your story, man. That's that's powerful within itself, Jerry. So guys, if any of you out there are looking at this and you're going through challenges, you're going through adversity, you and your network marketing business, me and Jerry both say, keep grinding, Keep working on yourself. Keep reading books. Keep positioning yourself around people like Jerry, people like myself, because it's people like us involved in your company. And if you're looking for a network marketing company or you're looking for a way to actually start a business from the comfort of your home, make sure you actually shoot Jerry a message because guess what? He will get back with you. So, Jerry, we're going to wrap this up, man. If you got one tip, and we'll, we'll be need this tip for somebody that might be like in the industry right now and they might not be creating the results that they want to create but they know that they can win. What, what tip would you give them? Well, my tip is there's no overnight successes. Pe people might look at you, Troy, I might look at myself and go, oh, they had it easy, it was easy for them. I joke with people and I say, yeah, I was an overnight success in six years. <laughs> it took me six years to be able to earn a six-figure income in this industry, right? But you, would, you attract what you become. So if you want to attract better people into your business and you want to attract more abundance into your life, you have to become better yourself. So always work on yourself and you will in turn attract better things and better people into your life. Wow, man. What a good one, Jerry. Jerry, I, I mean, I really appreciate you, brother. I want to thank you for taking the time out today, actually, you know, to do this. And, and I hope for a fact that, man, we really sold into somebody and poured into somebody and gave so. somebody, you know, just that extra push they need to actually take their business and their life to a whole nother level. Because, Jerry, this is the way I look at it, man. My wife asked me a question, and I always share it. Uh, well, she asked me a question about six months ago. She said, Troy, if you stop and you don't win and you don't play real, real big, who life are you, you, you know, you're not going to impact? And I thought, man, mine's ours. And she said, no, nah, Troy, it's the people lives that God has intended on you to actually go share this business with for you can make a change in their life, for they can make a change in other people's lives. And that's what we do, guys. With that, I want to wrap this up. God bless. Hope you guys have an awesome Tuesday. And if you're in network marketing, go out there and crush it and share your business with as many people as possible because we truly are in the business of changing lives. Jerry, man, you, you crushed it.